Okay, so we're continuing on our walk and talk series on the Minor Prophets. We're up here on a glorious day, early March. We're going through this book, Minor Prophets, just having a, a quick look at the prophets, see what they were all about, days, dates, times like that, find out what their story was. This is a beautiful day, a look round the hill. The bottom of Sutra, beautiful blue sky, and behind me you should see a ruined cottage that I meant to approach last time, so we'll just head up in that direction as we investigate Obadiah. So Obadiah, the year is around 845 BC. And uh, Obadiah, his name means servant of the Lord, or one who serves. And the message of Obadiah is probably what people would think quite familiar in that it was uh, God promising destruction or deadly judgment, shall we say, on certain peoples. In this case, it wasn't Israel. The judgment was against, but rather the Edomites. Now, to put it into some kind of context, Jerusalem had recently been raided, sacked, rooted, uh, looted, pillaged by the Arabians and Philistines. They'd suffered great loss, and the Edomites had taken sides with the Arabians over their, if you like, their cousins or relatives, the Israelis. Now the Edomites, who were the Edomites to bring that into some context? Well, the Edomites were the descendants of Esau, the brother of Jacob, and their enmity goes back basically since the time of their birth. You can read that up in Genesis 25, I think it is. Um, so they'd always been at enmity since Jacob basically robbed Esau of his birthright. And so over the centuries, and it was centuries before, the Edomites and the Israelites had never been the best of friends. But in this particular instance, God was aggrieved because the Edomites had basically stepped in where the Arabians had finished, or the Arabs had finished, and they gloated over the Israelites' misfortunes and over the loss. And so, God seen this as a betrayal. So the Edomites had basically betrayed their brothers in God's eyes. And Obadiah was here basically saying, God will judge you and punish you severely for what you've done, or even for what you haven't done, the sin of um, omission, if you like. They had not only not stepped in to help Israel during their plight, but they had helped the invaders, they'd helped the enemy. And so God set Obadiah to them, and Obadiah prophesied God's judgment, God's punishment on them. Now, it's just a wee quick breather here, show you a little look around again on the top of the hill. Looking out over the valley. So, the Edomites faced the judgment of God through the prophet Obadiah. Now, to put things into perspective, where were they, where did they come from? I think the easiest way now is that most people will know the Indiana Jones movies, the stone buildings carved into the stone. Uh, that was the city of Petra, which was the fortress city of the Edomites. And at the time they were a, a great trading nation, uh, quite a wealthy nation, and uh, their fortress within that uh, cut in the mountains, if you like, was virtually impregnable, so they had a real stronghold there. 
and for them to be brought down as Obadiah prophesied would have to be something quite catastrophic. Well in fact what happened was there was another trading peoples called the Nabataeans and the Nabataeans um, befriended the Edomites and became trading partners with them and they got into their confidence and eventually Obadiah's prophecy was fulfilled in a way they could never have imagined in that the Nabataeans, after gaining their confidence, overthrew the Edomites and took over the city of Petra. And uh, from there, the Edomites basically disappeared from the history books. This was around 100 AD. By this time, Petra totally destroyed and vanished. The Bible prophesied, or the Word of God prophesied, that it would become the haunt of scorpions and vipers. Which, in fact, when it was rediscovered in 1812 by a Swiss explorer, the main thing that he found was underneath every rock seemed to be scorpions, and it was alive with snakes. So that was the, the prophecy of Obadiah, the judgment on the Edomites for their betrayal. The fact is God looks, how would you say, God doesn't look kindly on betrayal of all things, or betraying someone close to you or a family bond or God himself. He doesn't look on betrayal kindly and we'll judge it, we'll deal with it. And that seems to be the main message of Obadiah. You know, this message of um, being true to your word, being faithful to your word, to your peoples, and to God especially. Um, and that's Obadiah, the shortest book in the Bible. Um, and this is probably the shortest video message in this whole trailer. Uh, as we come down, you'll see, I'll turn around, you'll see the view behind me here. We'll continue on with our next uh, of the prophets, the so-called minor prophets, and that is the prophet Joel. And we'll see what he has to say about things. Okay, that's me signing off on this very short summary. If you want to see more, then, of course, check out the book. Am I here? Check out the book, the passage, or... Go to the link below this video and you'll see a link directly to the page on my website where it has the full summary written down. Okay, signing off for now. Prophet Joel next.